Namaste, I'm Navika Takvorian Mishra and I'm very happy to be here with you today to share a very special recipe. It's a Shaka Vansi Ayurveda recipe. It was developed by Vaidya Mishra and it's here to help us with two things, with probiotics and getting the most out of Soma in our lives. Soma is that kind of nutrition that we all crave, that we all need to have better health. And it's such things as coconut, for example, or milk, or sweet foods, or foods that have the sweet quality to them. And we tend to crave Soma for two reasons, probably more, but primarily. Either because we're not eating enough Soma, we're not ingesting enough, or even if we are eating lots of it, we're not able to digest or absorb it. Because Soma needs a lot more agnea in order to be broken down, metabolized, and um, made our own in our body. So this recipe that I'm going to demonstrate today does that. It shows you how to get the most out of coconut. Everybody knows the health benefits of coconut, but also everybody knows how rich it is and how it can be hard sometimes if you overdo it or if you eat it at the wrong time to be able to get the benefit of eating coconut, which is all the somogenic properties. So this recipe uses probiotics in order to help metabolize coconut. So while you are getting more soma into your physiology, you are also getting probiotics or yoginis, as they are called in the Shakavansi Ayurveda tradition. Yoginis, the probiotics, are uh, molecular, very tiny micro uh, organisms that populate our gut, our intestinal area, and that are responsible for doing most of the absorption, most of getting the most out of our nourishment. If we have a depleted flora in our gut, then we're not really absorbing and digesting any of the foods that we are eating. And science is on to this reality nowadays. There's so much research that's going on about this, and everybody's raving about probiotics to the point where you can even find a little shot of yogurt that has more than 50 million or 50 billion, some unreal figure like that, in the, whole f in the health food stores. And, or you find a lot of ads about capsules where you can just uh, swallow the bugs, the yoginis, if you have a depleted flora. And there's a lot of ways of determining that, of course, but we won't go into that. So those are things you want to stay away from. And we will be discussing those in a very special article in, in Vaidya's newsletter coming up um, this week. If you're not, uh, if you don't receive it, then please, by all means, uh, uh, contact us and we will put you on our list. You can call our office, one eight 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 three chandi and we can put you on our mailing list and give you the latest about why it's not a good idea to consume large quantities of probiotics and uh, yoginis without any other medium or just capsule form. So anyways, today I want to show you this very special recipe that Vaidya and I myself actually consume on a daily basis. It's very easy but it can sound a little bit um, difficult if you've never seen it or done it. What we want to do first is we want to extract the water out of the coconut. And this can be challenging unless if you do it this way. So there's three eyes on a coconut. You don't have to break it first. What you want to do with any kitchen scissors, you want to poke them and you want to see which one is the softest one. You can chip at it a little bit. There's always one coconut that's softer, uh, one eye that's softer. So I found that it's this one. Before you do that, by the way, when you're picking your coconut, make sure that you shake it and that it has a lot of water in it. Because if it has less, it means it's not a very healthy one. So you want to poke it just so. This will not hurt the tip of your scissors. And then you want to make sure that the flesh that's on the walls is also nice and opened up. So you just go like that, you scrape the walls. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just scraping. So to make the hole a little bit bigger, because what we're going to try to do, and of course if you feel more comfortable, you can use a screwdriver and a hammer to do this, but I think I got mine. So we're going to go like this. And as you can see, we are extracting the water out of the coconut. Sometimes the coconut 
will have less water. It'll still sound like it's full when you shake it, but you only get half a glass. It's fine, except if it's rancid. So after we're done taking out all the water, we're going to test this to make sure that it's not rancid, that it's nice and fresh before we use it. So I want to also warn you, sometimes what happens, so if it stops dripping, you can help it along. Just so. Okay. Almost there. I think we have a little more. Let me just try to make the hole a little bit further here. just about there. So this coconut is done. We're going to keep this coconut aside because I'm going to show you other recipes for what to do with the flesh, but we'll be doing that later on. So this is the water that we got. First I'll smell it. And it smells fine. And I'll actually go ahead and taste it. It doesn't taste like it's sour or anything, so it's good coconut. And then I'll filter it. To get out all particles. So I'm done with that. And then I'm going to put it into this container. This is going to be the final container in which I'm going to make the coconut probiotic. I have here a pot where I'm going to add some water. And we're going to do a double bath. I'm going to put this inside the pot too much water. Let me just get a little bit out. Basically, the point is to heat the coconut water without overheating it. So I have actually a little bit of water to protect it, and then I put my container, and then I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to monitor. What we want is we want to get the temperature to be between 98 and 102 degrees because between 98 degrees and 102 degrees is the optimal temperature at which we're going to add a yogurt starter, which contains all the probiotic yoginis. See, what happens if you wait too long, it happened to me where I forgot that it was cooling off one day I had heated it up too much, and then it went lower than 98. It was, I think, 95 degrees, and I thought, oh, it's okay, it'll work. So I added my probiotic starter and I thought it'll be fine. Next morning when I woke up, my mixture had a white film on top and I smelled it. It smelled a little sour, which is how it's supposed to smell, but then when I tasted it, it just wasn't tasting right. So what had happened was because the temperature was too low, they had not been fully activated. Some got activated, some did not get activated. So I had this mass of almost bodies of yoginis semi-activated, like half woken up and when you ingest something like that it's they go into your body they, they're confused they don't know what to do and then they create more harm and then one day I had actually uh, heated it up more and it was higher than 102 maybe it was 105 degrees and I still went ahead I lost patience and I put my starter and then that turned it into a completely different mass where it was totally slimy and they had lost their lives again because it was too hot for them to survive in. So it was basically coconut water with corpses of yoginis floating around. Whenever you consume something like that, it goes in and it's harder for your body to get rid of it because it's just dead matter. And dead matter can amount to toxicity in your body. So you don't want either one of those. You have to be very particular about it being between 98 to 102. So I'm going to measure and see <clears throat> okay <clears throat> it's still not there we're gonna need a little more okay while this is getting on its way I want to show you 
sometimes you want to make sure that your coconut is really good quality that it's not rancid even if it does not smell rancid or taste rancid you want to go ahead and break your coconut right away because I got a coconut that I broke yesterday and the water smelled fine and it looked fine and then when I opened it this is what I got so this is definitely something if you see something like this don't think oh the water's okay I'll just go ahead and use it this means that the whole thing is contaminated and you definitely don't want to consume something like this so what is the best way of opening your coconut? I like to just crack mine open on the balcony floor where it's cement. I just throw it and then it halves and then again and again and I get small pieces. But then if you're not comfortable with that, there's the traditional method of using a screwdriver and then a hammer and hammering away at it. And um, uh, let's see here. almost there so I'm going to um, I didn't do my okay so we're there I'm going to turn this off and it's not too hot for me able for me to be able to handle it so this is my warm coconut water that's between 98 to 102 degrees so for the amount of uh, coconut water that I had, I'm going to put a little bit less than half a teaspoon. So these are my probiotic buds and I put it and I mix it in just so to make sure that there are no clumps. And it turns into a white filmy mixture. And what I'm going to do, I'll cover this and wrap it up in a towel and then put it somewhere warm. You can use the same method that you use for yogurt, making yogurt uh, under a pilot light or anywhere warm in your house. And you keep it overnight, probably 8 to 10 or 12 hours. And then the next day, you, it is ready to be consumed. So what should you expect? It's not going to look like yogurt at all. It's still going to be watery. This I made yesterday. So it's going to be watery, you see. Sometimes it might be a little more slimy, which is fine. And then when you taste it, it's going to taste of coconut water with a little bit of sourness. When you have that perfect blend of sour and coconut flavor, it means that it worked. Sometimes you also get a little bit of a white film or residue at the bottom. That's also good. It's just, you know, the bugs that are still residing in it. Once you do this, after the first night, you consume it in the morning, you have one tablespoon or one teaspoon per person, depending on what Vaidya recommended, and then you seal it again, and then you refrigerate it. You have to keep it in the fridge and consume every day. This will last you up to probably a week or even a little more. It will not go bad. If you feel like it's become too sour, then really unpleasantly sour, then you can discard it and make a fresh batch. So I hope um, this demonstration will make this process easier for you. Because this is really, if there ever was a nectar recipe, this is nectar for our gut, for our health overall, not to mention the benefits of eating coconut for skin, for hair, and for overall health. So I hope you make it and that it turns out good and that you enjoy it. Thank you.